You are not as tall as I thought you were. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days, and today we're going to take a look at a classic horror movie monster. It's King Kong. So this is the 1930s version of King Kong from Nika. Now this is the version one. There was a second version of this figure released uh, this summer that was more like the movie poster colors where it was like red and purple and yellow. Uh, this is more of the classic kind of Kong colors and that's what I went with. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Kong in the package and it looks pretty darn cool for sure. We got Kong here, it says King Kong. The top of the box also says King Kong. Get some nice leafage going on. Just kind of a close up of the box. Yeah, that looks super cool. This side of the package has the raw face going on there, so kind of a close up of that. And the other side's got the more classic, kind of what I call the Dopey Kong from the 30s, which is pretty cool looking. Back of the package, again, we've got uh, King Kong. We got uh, both versions of him down there. And uh, yeah, this is looking super cool. Now, like a lot of the Nika figures, you can open up the package and we see Kong inside looking all kinds of neat. We've got the artwork here looking pretty wicked, so just kind of a close up. There he is with his two head sculpts on the inside. And then uh, here's a look at the artwork on the side, just nasty looking. Very, very cool. I'm definitely digging it. And again, there is an alternate version of this guy if you're interested, but this is the one I went with. So let's get him out of box and see what we think. So here we have King Kong out of the package, and he looks pretty cool. I will say that. I like the shape of him. I like the paint apps. The sculpt looks pretty good on him. All the different colors of fur he's got going on. Um, pretty nice. I don't know how well this is going to show up on a gray background, but... Yeah, we'll figure it out. He's got a lot of accessories, which is very, very cool. He's got this alternate screaming head. This is the one I personally like and the one I'm going to use. Uh, so that's pretty cool. He comes with two sets of interchangeable hands. He's got this open monkey's paw. So make a wish. Um, looks pretty cool. Definitely like the textures. And then he comes with the two closed fisted hands. And this is what he's got in the box. Now, as far as switching out the heads, let's go ahead and do that really, really quick. Um, so we're just gonna take a little Kong's noggin here and rip it off of the figure. And then we're gonna take the other one and we're gonna pop it on. This thing will get into focus. We're gonna snap it into place like this. There we go, back in focus. So the head moves back and forth, um, moves up and down slightly. This one, not so much. The arms, move up and down they are supposed to go in and out uh, there's the joint but there's a lot of issues with the cut at the shoulder so it really doesn't go up and down you have to shave it there's also a twist at the upper arm but it's very tight he's got double jointed elbows but again very very tight you're gonna have to heat those up otherwise they may snap the hands are going to be the same way he does have a diaphragm joint uh, which moves around, which is nice. The legs do move back and forth ever so slightly. Um, and then we've got the wrists do move around. No twists at the forearms or shins. Um, the knees do have a double joint, but again, they're so tight. Um, the feet do move back and forth and up and down. They do have an ankle rocker pivot, but the legs on the thing do not splay out, so we really don't get anything there. So. Yeah, uh, you're going to have to heat this guy up to get the joints to really work. So just be aware of that because Nika figures do tend to snap when tight. Now, taking a closer look at the figure itself, um, I love the sculpt. I love the fur, all the different browns painted on it. That looks really cool. We've got the roaring head here. My personal favorite, uh, although the jaw doesn't go up and down because it's all expanded out. 
Um, I love the glossy paint on it. Um, all the different browns look really, really slick. The teeth are painted a nice bone color. The gums, the, the tongue, the eyes, all that looks super, super slick and just looks like a very pissed off King Kong. Now taking a look at the alternate head, this is what I kind of uh, call the Dopey Kong. This is the more classic 30s Kong when I think of uh, the movie uh, posters and such. So it's not as roarish, but definitely has that 1930s King Kong kind of look. Again, same paint apps on the mouth and the teeth and the fur. Just, you know, he's got a different look on his face. And I think this looks better with the uh, alternate version two with the movie colors of the red and the purples and the yellows than it does in the classic Kong colors. And to take a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. I like the fur, the different colors of brown on the patches on his body. The hands look amazing. I love the glossy pads on the hands and the fingers and the fur tuft on the top. Looks really, really good. His his butt kind of looks like he's got some kind of plant growing off, like some moss, but eh, it's not too terribly bad. All in all, this looks really, really damn good, and I'm really liking him. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, this thing looks good. It's sculpted well. It is raining very hard outside, so you might hear rain and thunder, FYI. But I, I, I do like the sculpt on this thing. I wish the joints weren't so tight, which is a weird complaint. Uh, I'm just going to have to heat them up and see if I can get them to move. The feet look good. The sculpt, he's got the monkey type feet. The glossy black on the flesh with the fur hanging over the top. Everything on this just looks remarkable. And, uh, well, it's a pretty Nika standard kind of thing. For comparison... Here we have the Nika King Kong with the Godzilla vs. Kong figure by Playmates. And as you can see, the Nika Kong is way bigger and a lot more detailed than the Playmates one. There's really kind of no surprise there, but it's definitely cool to see two different types of Kongs from different eras and different companies side by side. And just for fun, here we have the Nika King Kong with the Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Kong uh, movie. And uh, he's still taller than Godzilla, but it's nowhere near as bad as the Kong figure from the same line. And, uh, you know, Kong vs. Godzilla, one of my favorite movies of all time. And really cool to see him side by side with him. And I'd like to see a 1930s uh, Nika Godzilla to go with this Kong. So is the 1930s version of King Kong by Nika something that you want in your Kong collection? Well, I'm going to say yes. This is a very well done figure. This looks cool. It's got the interchangeable heads so you can have kind of that more classic movie poster 1930s black and white type of Kong or a more roary kind of Kong. Um, I like the alternate head better. I like the roar. I think it looks a lot cooler, but to each their own. Although I do think the movie poster variant color would look good with the regular head on it. I think that would bring that out really, really nice. And it's just a solid figure. My biggest gripe with it is the joints are too tight. Um, you know, I was afraid I would snap the joints. So if you do get this, definitely get a hair dryer, work the joints before you start moving it around. Uh, the other one is the, the shoulders, uh, the way they're cut, they just don't splay out too well. And those are very minor gripes. The rest of the figure is super solid. It's thick, it's heavy. It's built well, it's sculpted well, and painted well. So there he is, King Kong by Nika for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. See you next Wednesday. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.